What's up everyone out there? My name is Rudy and welcome to Children of a Dead Earth. Today we are going to be looking at some orbital maneuvers. So here in the green orbit I have my gunship Mark II. In the back we have Sylvia, the asteroid. And in the red orbit we have a fleet of seven WAPO advanced class ships in a rather impressive formation. So the first thing we should do is set up a relatively basic intercept. I will grab my ship, expand my orbit, burning prograde, and there we go, we have an intercept. So if we look at this handy piece of the UI, which perhaps maybe you're not too familiar with if you're new to the game or just haven't been paying attention, we see we have an intercept velocity of 6 meters per second and a closest approach of 37.7 kilometers. But we can adjust our trajectory a bit we can burn radially to get up closer, closest approach. Maybe burn tangentially a bit more. Yeah, bring it down to 22 kilometers. Very nice. And of course, burning out of plane probably won't do much to help us. As you can see, burning out of plane only increases my closest approach, which makes sense. I mean, we're already in the same plane, so there's no need to adjust our plane. Okay, 19.2 kilometers is our closest approach, which is better, but this is really a terrible intercept for us, and we'll see why in 6 days and 20 hours when we make the intercept. Our inevitable engagement. The enemy. Ho ho, alright, so now I think the problem is starting to become obvious. We have a flyby of 2 hours. Now, unfortunately, since the enemy ships are so small, they are outside of the effective range of our weapons, and we're going to need to burn for a while to actually get into range. Now, of course, in space, weapons really have no range, as, you know, you can just fire and nothing's going to stop your railgun slugs, but weapons do have a dispersion, and if I were to start firing at the enemy from this distance, I would do minimal damage. Maybe I'd pick off a radiator, maybe I'd impact the armor a couple of times, but it just, not, not, not too much would happen. Whereas the enemy, of course, firing at me at this range, I'm a much larger target, and they're going to do much more damage. My only real hope is to home in on the enemy, and hopefully I can survive long enough to get into range. So the enemy is firing their 11mm railguns. Tendril of green death. And all I can do is maybe just charge the enemy and withstand this withering firepower at 44 meters per second and of course my ship has such a low acceleration that's going to take me forever to get into range. I tell you, the people in this 20 crew module in the front of the ship are certainly not fans of me right now. In fact, these uh, midship crew modules are looking mighty attractive despite the fact that they always get destroyed in broadside engagements. 8mm turreted railgun has a range of 37 kilometers. I mean, we could fire from here, but again, dispersion will probably prevent us from doing very much damage, and we would have to present our broadside to the enemy, making us even a larger target. We lost a coil gun. Alright, let's orient broadside. We're close. We'll still have to ignore range on our weapons. And we are firing. And here comes the enemy. We're coming at them at 252 meters per second. They're coming in over us. We are starting to have armor failures in the midship. All those black squares are armor being completely destroyed. Our fuel tanks are becoming damaged. And there we go. We lost a midship crew module. But our reactors are still functioning. Looks like we've taken out one enemy ship. The Dusk Inferno. So now, the enemy ship is at 40 kilometers distance, and we can see how the dispersion effect is basically... Our weapons are completely ineffective. We're, we're scoring no hits. Alright, great. We, uh... We are out of Delta V because our engines have been destroyed. So, even though our ship is still fairly intact and we could come back at the enemy for more, we are just dead in the water. And we are drifting out of the system. 
Okay, here we are again with our gunship Mark II versus five WAPO advanced class ships. This time, instead of sidling up to the enemy at a paltry five meters per second, let's do something a bit more intense. If we burn tangentially, maybe do like half a kilometer per second of delta V. Uh, of course, we don't want to crash, crash into Sylvia, so we need to burn tangentially to avoid Sylvia. And we can burn tangentially and set up an intercept with the enemy. So 559 meters per second, we can do better. We want to go really, really fast. Let's increase our the delta V that we're burning. All right, 1.45 kilometers per second with a closest approach of 27.7 kilometers. We want to fine tune that a bit. Closest approach of 54.92 kilometers. That should be good. And of course, we'll want to make sure we have enough delta V to actually re-enter the Sylvia system so we don't fly off into space. And it looks like we'll have enough delta V unless of course we sustain some battle damage, which hopefully we will not. Alright, I did not mean to do that, but now we need to orient to broadside. We can ignore range on our weapons. There, They are, of course, firing, and we are retaliating. Notice that our relative velocity is 1.44 kilometers per second, and our flyby is only going to be 20 seconds this time. We're taking damage on our armor. And we are doing some damage to the enemy. We disabled an enemy ship. We split them in half. Wow. And there I go. There goes our nice gunship. And we've passed the enemy. We are reorienting. Some of our weapons have been destroyed, but many have survived. For some reason, my ship is deciding to rotate all of my vital radiator components and engines towards the enemy, but now we are... should be in range to fire. Giving some parting shots to the enemy. Our engines are still intact. Alright, and we have are outside of our effective range for the enemy, but they are probably still going to be within effective range for a little while longer. It looks like we lost all of our coil guns and lasers. Our 20 member crew module on the front is still alive. Some of our fuel tanks have been damaged. All right, of course, now we are leaving the Sylvia system, but we definitely don't want to leave. We're not going to surrender the system so easily to the enemy. We can re-inject around Sylvia for a cost of 1.3 kilometers per second of Delta V. And we are still here. So our first engagement looks like we disabled two enemy ships. There are two enemy ships left, and of course the fifth ship got cut in half early on in the battle. We need to finish the job. Of course, we need to be ever mindful of our Delta V. It's no good to defeat the enemy fleet if you're dead in space crashing into an asteroid or floating off into nothingness. So let's see, we can increase our intercept velocity. There are only two enemy ships this time around, so... Alright, our closest approach is 70 meters. Let's go for it. Alright, there's the enemy fleet. A flyby of one minute. We are set to ignore range, and we are firing on the enemy. And they are, of course, retaliating. <laughs> the enemy ships are sustaining damage. And Sylvia watches in the background. But we lost one of our 8mm railguns. If we lose a couple more railguns, then we're pretty much completely disarmed. Yeah, this, this, uh, these ships are... Yeah, without our coil guns, we're having a much tougher time taking out these ships. Enemies are no longer a threat. We have won the day. Sylvia is ours. And we laugh at their pathetic fleet. We've crushed them. Of course, we're not done yet. We need to hopefully have enough Delta V to get back around Sylvia. All right, perfect. 
the enemy has been defeated, their ships destroyed, and we are here in Sylvia. Nothing can contend with us now. Let's change things up a bit. Let's make the enemy... Let's go up against some of my Mark II gunships as the enemy. Let's throw in... How about two of them? A pair of enemy ships. And I'll be using the WAPO A this time around. I'll say take ten of them. So how are we going to approach the enemy? Well, since we know that our weapons effectively outrange the enemy, or I suppose outdisperse the enemy, since the enemy is much larger, we can fire at them from range. So what we can do is we can mess with our closest approach so the enemy weapons never really get into effective range. I think if we, if we stay outside of 30 kilometers, I think that'll be pretty good. And we also want to minimize the intercept velocity. Okay, this, this should be good. The closest approach of 31.2 kilometers and an intercept velocity of 430 meters per second. Orient broadside. So we're going to be in range in a couple of seconds. Our closest approach. So the enemy range is 37 kilometers. So we are going to skirt into the enemy weapons range, unfortunately. But of course, we can remember that number 37 kilometers and not make the same mistake again. But hey, it's just a simulation. There's a reason why we simulate these things, so we can make mistakes. Our formation is rotating. And they're firing. Let's see, we want to target some of the enemy weapon systems, I think. Focus all the firepower on their guns. Let's see, the enemy has been doing some maneuvering on, of their own, so that has affected the closest approach. They were homing in on us. So they're going to have more opportunity to fire on us. Enemies are now moving away. And so yeah, now the enemy is of course out of our, I guess you could say, recommended range. Oh man, this ship is tumbling out of control. Well, that ends that engagement. How did our fleet do? We have five WAPOs, supposedly. So we lost half of our force. We can re-enter orbit around Sylvia. Well, let's intercept them again, and this time let's be mindful of that 37 kilometer closest approach. Okay, so we have a closest approach of 44.9 kilometers here. We can adjust tangentially to bring that, to change that a bit. 38.1 kilometers, that should be good. That is in two days. That gives our crew time to uh, get some rest and uh, contemplate their fate. Probably go through a million checklists and things like that. System maintenance. Alright, there's the enemy fleet. We are, of course, in range. The relative velocity is only 5.48 meters per second, so they are kind of screwed, I hoped. I hope. We have targeted the enemy systems. Let's try and disarm them. Give them a volley. Fire. Yes. And we've made contact with them. And their weapons are well out of range. Yeah, we got a good shot on their radiators. They're slowly accelerating towards us. <clears throat> but this gives us plenty of time to uh, whittle away at the enemy and weaken them before they get into range. All right, we've taken out one of the enemy gunships. They've lost power generation. We must have... Oh yeah, because we've, we've stripped off all of their radiators. The ship is still pretty well intact. Look, I mean, all the internal components are still functioning. We've taken out some weapons, but ultimately we took out their radiators. Very good. And maybe we can do the same with this ship as well. The enemy's firing upon us. Let's concentrate on the enemy weapons. Oh boy. I don't think this ship is going to make it.
They've lost all their weapons on this side, and their crew has been killed. We're just not doing enough damage to their weapons. I mean, really, the armor on these gunships is so good. With that diamond whipple shield, these, uh, these railguns are just unable to really penetrate them. The 11mm railguns get vaporized when they hit that, uh... That Whipple shield and the armor just absorbs all that energy. But the enemies are moving away now. The engagement, they were only in range for a scant few moments thanks to our expertly set up intercept. Oh man, you need to target the engines. Oh, we disabled all their nuclear rockets. Four nuclear rockets disabled. So that is just as good as taking out the enemy ship. So unfortunately, one of our ship's engines have been destroyed, so they are going to drift out into space. And we have our two ships remaining in orbit around Sylvia, with the enemy gunship being ejected out into space. They're perhaps still functioning, but they cannot maneuver. And that is how we defeated a fleet of two enemy gunships, using smart maneuvers. My name is Rudy, and this was Children of a Dead Earth. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching.